A large group of House Democrats on Wednesday pressed Senator Jim Risk of Idaho, the top Republican on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, to lift his hold on millions of dollars in aid to Palestinians after a brutal war in the Gaza Strip decimated the coastal enclave. Representative ja Jamie Raskin of Maryland led a group of 145 Democrats in calling on Risk to lift his hold on $75 million in aid that was approved under the Trump administration. We write with a great sense of urgency to respectfully request that you release your hold on tens of millions of dollars in appropriated humanitarian aid that is so desperately needed to meet the needs of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian civilians rebuilding their lives in the wake of the fighting between Hamas and Israel earlier this month. The lawmaker wrote, Gaza is experiencing humanitarian catastrophe, building lives, buildings lie in rumble, access to clean water and electricity is sporadic or non-existent, food insecurity is spreading, COVID-19 is running rampant, and thousands of people have been displaced and rendered homeless. The magnitude of the crisis is staggering. The Biden administration has said the funds will go toward assisting Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip grapple with the, the virus and a flagging economy as well as rebuild from the recent war between Israel and militants in Gaza. The push for aid from the Democrats comes as a ceasefire reached last month has so far managed to hold. While some Republicans have expressed concern that aid to Palestinians could make its way to Hamas, the militant group that rules the Gaza Strip, the Democrats said that the money would be tightly monitored. So what we have here is um, another example of how heavily the U.S. favors. I mean, like I'm putting these up concurrently, so you're going to have a story of how a U.S. senator meets with Netanyahu. He tells him, oh, don't worry, we're going to give you was the billion dollars in, in piggyback money from the U.S. We're going to support you and rebuild this you know, your, your weapons of mass destruction. Uh, and the flip side of that is when the Palestinians ask for money, oh, let's sit on it for a year. Cause it's been there since Trump was in office. So that's been, I will, we'll say it's at least six months. Okay. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it all goes back to the same thing of how Republicans always call people anti-Semitic when they talk about the Israeli government, but we don't have a term to call them other than anti-Palestinian. I mean, think about this. I would easily say that most Jewish people have nothing to do with apartheid in Israel toward the Palestinians because most Jewish people have nothing to do with the Israeli government, which I criticize because of its actions, not the religion of the people running it. That's just a little smokescreen disguise people like to use to cover up for the evil practices done by the government. But with the Palestinians, you know, think of how just insane it is to say that the majority of these people are like, we don't know what percentage of them are Hamas or affiliated with the Hamas, but you can infer that the majority of civilians are not. Uh, so let's not help the civilians out who in a lot of cases were innocently killed so innocents that were murdered by the um, Israeli missiles, because we're worried that we might help the terrorist group that the majority of these people do not comprise. Again, this is completely anti-Palestinian rhetoric done by, you know, led by Rishk and done by other Republicans, and no one cares, you know, because uh, it doesn't affect them. I guess I, I'm, I'm starting to see a lot of trends and patterns between this and Yemen, so... I guess that explains it. He, he'll he get away with this and Democrats can write their little letter, but you know, nobody cares. So we'll just have the Palestinians keep suffering over money, even, even as we can assist them with all the loads of money that was already supposed to go to them in the first place because uh, this one senator wants to sit on top of it and these other senators want to pretend that every Palestinian or the majority of them are, are part of a terrorist group when you can look at every other terrorist group and know that the majority of civilians are not affiliated with them.